Hello, welcome to Body Magic's Full Moon in Gemini Lunar Eclipse practice. We are going to start our practice sitting back on the heels, softening the gaze or closing the eyes, lifting the crown of the head up toward the sky, grounding down to the sits bones and the tops of the feet. And those shoulders relax. And you may feel a wave of relaxation starting at the crown of your head. Wash over your forehead and through your hair, the ears and the neck. Cascading down the shoulders and arms. Relaxing the elbows and the wrists and the hands. Letting them rest on your thighs. Breathing deeply into the belly. This wave of relaxation continues to travel down the chest. And down the sides of the body. And down the back. You feel more and more relaxed, more at ease, more at peace. And the thighs and the knees relax. And if sitting back on the heels is uncomfortable or you need more support, you may place a block underneath the hips or a blanket underneath the thighs. Settling into your breath and the peace between your eyebrows. Focusing your inner vision on that space. Looking out from an awareness behind your thoughts. The feet relax more and more, the thighs, the hips, the belly, ribs, chest, as you breathe deeply into your belly. Begin to rock forward, tucking your toes under, uncurling the pinky toe if need be, and then settling your hips back toward your feet, opening the toes. This may feel intense. You can sit up or forward if you need to. If not, finding ways to relax into the intensity in your feet. Relax your hands, relax your shoulders, find your breath, lifting the crown of the head. Whatever song the feet are singing, listen in. Maybe they begin to tell you the story of the day you've had or the week you've had. Or perhaps they release some long forgotten memory, honoring whatever comes up at this time. Begin to walk the hands forward, come to the tops of your feet and sit back. Walk the fingertips back behind you and lift your right knee up off the floor, grounding the left knee Feeling the top of the right foot, opening the ankle and release, switching sides. Deep breaths. 
and release. Both knees lift. Lift the chest and heart. And release both knees down toward the floor, sitting back on the heels. Inhale the right fingertips up toward the sky, left fingertips touch the earth or a block. Trying to stay upright. So stay up on the fingertips, keep the spine long. Trying not to bend over to one side or the other. Drawing in energy through the top fingertips and in through the grounded fingertips, rooted energy and universal energy meet in the heart space, feeling them converge. You are the space between this grounded energy and this ethereal energy, a healing connection from them both. And send the left fingertips up toward the sky, right fingertips to the earth. And the same here, relaxing the shoulder down the back. Draw that energy up from the earth. And feel the song that sings the universe enter through your fingertips. The two energies converge in the heart space. As you continue to breathe deeply. Both hands reach up toward the sky. Exhale, twisting over to the left side. Right hand comes to the outside of the left thigh. Left fingertips behind you. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Breathe deeply. Use your twist. Use your breath to deepen your twist. And softly glide your hands back up toward the sky, turning over to the other side. Left hand to the right thigh, right fingertips behind you. Lengthen the spine on your inhale. Exhale, twist. And a gentle opening and reset for the body. Float yourself back to center. Reaching the fingertips up toward the sky. Hold here, let the shoulders relax down the back. Your weight is positioned over the heels so as not to lean forward or back. Draw in the energy through your fingertips. Feel an orb of energy at your palms. And begin to draw that orb down toward the crown of your head, passing over your third eye, moving slowly and down the face to the throat. passing over the heart space. Turning your hands as you need to, to hold that energy in front of your body, moving down to the solar plexus, around the belly button, the sacral, and hold at the root, drawing the elbows in toward the body. Lifting the crown of the head, tuck the chin in toward the chest. Open the back of the neck.
Open your palms out wide, let the head float back to center. And you now receive through your palms a feeling of connection from the root that connects us all with kindness, compassion, empathy, community, support, all of the ways in which we are not alone. Feel and receive this energy in your palms, surging up the arms. The palms are receptacles for the heart space. So your heart fills with this feeling of connection, a feeling you can access whenever you need it in times of loneliness. in times of isolation. And you see before you in your mind's eye, a circle, a circle of souls connected here together. And you still receive through your right palm, but you begin to give through your left. Name that which you would wish to give and feel yourself give it around the circle, feeding those around you. Perhaps you see specific faces, people you feel need to receive this energy of connection and whatever it is you specifically have to give. And through your right palm, what is it you wish to receive from this circle? Feeling this connective energy feed you what you need in through the right as you give through your left, an endless flow of energy. Begin to turn your palms down toward the floor and press them into the earth, coming forward onto all fours. Knees underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders, flat back, drawing the belly button up in toward the spine. Send your right leg out long, extend the left arm out alongside the ear and lift drawing out through the fingertips and back through the heel, turn the toes down toward the floor, draw your belly button up and in, feel length in your spine. Taking deep breath in through the nose, release out through the mouth, inhale, make a balloon of your belly and exhale with a ha, ha, again, ha. You'll do four more of those. <sighs> Breathing deeply in through the belly, fill the belly and release. <sighs> it can be as loud as you want, two more. And one more. <sighs> Bring your knee back to the earth. Bring your hand back to the floor. Sink your hips back toward your heels. Third eye travels down toward the earth, grounding that space. Press into the palms, come back up to table position. And switching sides, extending the left leg out long, right arm alongside the ear, keep the hips square, drop the belly button down toward the floor. Nice, beautiful, long length in the spine, in the neck. Plug the left hip in, 
remove the curve from your spine by pulling your belly button up and in and we'll begin with that breath inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth drawing that belly button up and in toward the spine inhale and exhale again finding your rhythm big release on the exhale two more and when you've completed that breath bring the knee in wrist or palm to the earth and sink the hips back toward the heels third eye to the earth Grounding your inner vision. Coming back up onto the knees, tuck the toes under and lift the knees only an inch or two up off the floor, pulling your belly button in toward your spine, extend the right leg out long. And bring it back. Extend the left leg out long and bring it back. Send your hips up and back, coming into a downward facing dog, pedal out the legs, drawing the right heel toward the floor, bending the left knee and vice versa, moving through the backs of the legs. If this is your first down dog of the day, really taking this opportunity to feel through that. making space between the shoulder blades, lifting the sits bones up to where the sky, pressing into the fingertips, pressing away from the earth. Ground the right heel and lift the left leg up high. Keep the shoulders square, keep lifting, engage the core. Bend at the knee, bring the foot over toward the right side, opening the belly. Two more rounds of the breath and bring it back to center, releasing the left heel toward the floor. Lift the light, right leg up high. Feel the opening across the belly as you lift that leg up high, nice and straight, point the toe. Breathing deep. And then begin to bend at the knee, bring the foot over. Opening that hip, opening the belly. Grounding down the standing heel. Bring it back to center. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Coming into a forward fold. Enjoy this forward fold, maybe grabbing onto the elbows, moving from side to side. All right, begin to bring the palms to the floor. Walk out into a plank. Wrists underneath the shoulders, belly lifted, nice strong plank, reaching back through the heels. Send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the front of your mat, shift forward into plank. Reaching out through the crown of the head, lifting the belly, engaging the whole front body, making space between the shoulder blades and then shift back into downward facing dog. One more time, just like that, looking forward to the top of your mat, shift forward, plank. And then back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back toward your feet. Take a nice deep breath in, inhale all the way up to standing. And exhale the hands to your sides, palms facing forward. 
maybe take a moment here to reconnect with that receptive energy, the feeling of connection. Taking this opportunity to bring your feet mat distance, or not mat distance, hip distance apart, outside edges of the feet in line with the outside edges of the mat, rotating your inner thigh outward, lifting the belly, tucking the tailbone. Backing yourself nice and tall. Take a big step forward. We'll be coming into goddess. So facing the camera, whatever that is for you or facing your screen. <laughs> Turning the big toes toward the front edges of the mat. So bringing your feet on maybe a 45 degree angle each. Not very good with the angles. Turning the feet out, turning out from the hip. Lift the belly, lift the chest, arms come out to your sides. Bending the elbow, palms facing forward, bend the knees, coming into a goddess. So we'll turn the feet out a little bit more and begin to move through the feet. So from heel to toe, moving from heel to toe, keep pressing the hips forward, lifting that belly button up underneath the ribs. We're going to accentuate this movement even more, straightening the right leg, turning the toes up toward the sky, bending into that left knee and then roll through the right foot and straighten the left leg. You can begin to marry the movement of the arm. So extending the right arm out long, looking out over the fingertips and then moving through. Making this a meditative movement, rolling through the feet, finding integrity in each movement, maybe observing what it feels like to roll through the feet here from one foot to the other, to stay strong and balanced and lifted. Beautiful job. Two more times each side. Rolling through the feet. You've probably found your rhythm by now. And that's right when we move on, beginning to sink down into your goddess all the way down, bring your fingertips to the earth, turn the outside edges of the feet in line with the outside edges of the mat. This is like a resting posture for us turning, we're grounding the outside edges of the feet, lifting the hips up high. If, you, if your knees tend to lock, add a little micro bend here, draw the crown of the head down toward the earth. and find your breath, breathe into the backs of the legs. Begin to bend the right knee and turn the left heel up toward the sky, coming all the way up onto the right toes. Walk your fingertips over toward the right leg shifting into a runner's lunge. You can pulse here in the back foot if you like. We'll begin to walk the right toes off the edge of the mat and drop the left knee. Coming to the top of the left foot, Sink in here if you like, coming down onto the forearms or if the body allows, maybe you have a pillow or a block. Dropping the right knee out to the side. Maybe you lift that right big toe. Relaxing the head, neck and shoulders. Really relax the head, let it hang. Finding your breath. Good. 
the words, this isn't what I came for, but I'm glad I came, have been ringing through my head. So that might be a message for someone. And taking two more long, slow, deep breaths. Finding wisdom in division. In what we know is good for us and the things that we hold on to that aren't. This posture is great for exposing these things to us. So allowing any thoughts, images, memories to rise up and show themselves to you here. Begin to stand your hands underneath your shoulders. Walk the toes back towards center, coming into that lunge, lift, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, and begin to transition, walking the hands to the inside edge of the foot, shifting back into that wide-legged forward fold. Outside edges of the feet in line with the outside edges of the mat, surrender the crown of the head down toward the earth. And we'll begin to shift the other way. So walking the hands over toward the left foot, turning the toes toward the short edge of the mat. Back knee is lifted. Beginning to feel the opening, the top of the right thigh. And start to walk the left toes off the mat, creating an angle, drop the left knee out to the side, drop the right knee to the earth, coming to the top of the foot. And again, you can stay up on your palms. If you're on your palms, I encourage you to bend the elbows a little bit. So try not to lock the elbows. And the side will have its own set of messages and its own set of challenges. So embracing whatever is coming up for you at this time. Maybe you're supporting yourself with a pillow or a block. perhaps an intensity of vision or intense words are coming up for you now. If you're alone and you feel comfortable, you may release those words. If you're not alone <laughs> and you feel comfortable, release those words. You have come here to let this out. This is the time, this is the opportunity. Another few breaths to release. Knowing that however this is going, you're doing beautifully. Beginning to stand the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toes under, walk the front toes back towards center and then begin to transition into that wide-legged forward fold, turning the outside edges of the feet in line with the outside edges of the mat. Crown of the head reaches down, appreciating this as a resting posture, releasing any striving, any trying, enjoying the release of the neck and the rush of blood to the head. Begin to turn your heels in towards center and your toes outward as we'll shift back up through goddess, sinking the hips down, lifting the torso up, elbows in line with the shoulders, palms facing forward. Find your balance by moving through the feet. And we'll begin our moon breaths. So with an inhale, Reaching up, exhale, scoop the air up, crossing the arms over, 
releasing with a huge exhale, inhale, rise up, big inhale, exhale, let it go. <sighs> let it be a big ha. Huh? Imagine all the brothers and sisters in this circle, everyone we are connected to is in the circle, releasing together, reaching up to the energy of that full moon, letting go. Whatever you receive comes in through the palms, whatever you are releasing goes out with the breath into the earth. We send it deep down into the earth. Keep reaching, keep breathing. You've got this bending the knees. Maybe you speed it up. Keep going. Let it out. Everything releases. And three, two, and one. Reach up toward the sky. Straighten the legs. Draw the shoulder blades together. Open the heart space. Release your arms to your sides, palms facing forward, and begin to heel toe the feet together, coming into a standing mountain pose. Feet hip distance apart, outside edges of the feet in line with the outside edges of the mat. Feel that energy coming up from the feet. Feel the energy at your palms and down through the crown of the head, everything meeting in the heart. If you are not at the top of your mat, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhaling the arms up toward the sky. Exhale, folding forward, hinging at the hips. Plant your palms, step back into plank. Turn over onto your right palm, onto the right side of your foot, stacking your left foot over top of the right. To modify, you can step the left foot forward, press the hips forward, lift, and turning back over into plank. We'll come over onto the left palm, press the hips forward, lift, lift, lift. You can always step that front leg up. Breathing into the side ribs and coming back through plank. Shift the hips back and up, coming into down dog. Lock the hands back toward the feet, coming into forward fold. Release the hands and shake them out. However that looks for you. Begin to come up onto the toes and sink your hips back toward your heels. Slowly lowering, drawing the knees toward one another. And eventually coming to bring your hands at heart center, finding balance, finding a point that is unmoving, that is still. Keep drawing the knees together and down, lifting up, lift the belly. And eventually lowering the knees down to the earth. Feeling that stretch in the feet once again, lifting up. Shift forward and bring the tops of the feet to the earth, standing up on your knees. Inhale, reach the arms up toward the sky. Open chest and heart. And then on an exhale, bring your hands to your lower back, like you're placing your hands in pockets. Press the hips forward, press into the tops of the feet and the shins, shift your weight back onto the shin. Lift and open the chest, draw the elbows toward one another. Option here to let your head go if you feel that that is available to you. And slowly with control, bring the head back, bring yourself back, sit back on your heels, keeping your eyes closed, focus on your heart space. Let 
any intense energy move out from the heart space. Shift your hips over to the left side, bringing your feet to the right, coming onto your bum, bringing the legs out wide to a V. Fingertips next to the hips, straighten the spine. You can place a blanket underneath the bum here to help straighten the spine. Flex the toes back toward the face. And we'll begin to extend the right arm out toward the right foot. So reaching the right hand for the outside edge of the right foot. If it doesn't reach, that's okay, resting there. And turning the chest and heart up toward the sky, extend the left arm over toward either the ceiling or toward the right foot. So opening the left side body. Inhale up through center, coming over to the other side. Right arm reaches over toward the left foot, opening the right side body. Inhale up through center, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Placing your palms on the earth, wherever you are, draw the shoulder blades toward one another down the back. Begin to sink your elbows down toward the earth if that's available to you. And then let the head go, let it hang. Let any tension that's in the neck release. Feel the earth beneath your palms. Drop in. In the silence, we keep some of our loudest thoughts. We must allow them to speak. When we push them away, they will come back louder. In times when we need rest, they will not stop until they've been heard. Allow this practice to be a time when those thoughts can rise up. You can greet them and observe them. There will be choices to be made and all information will help in making these choices. As your body surrenders to this posture, you surrender to the mental flow as well. Begin to walk your fingertips back toward the hips, drawing the feet in towards center, fingertips next to the hips, lifting, lengthening the spine, draw the heels of the hands down toward the earth, flex the toes back toward the face, dig in the heels and then wiggle the toes to release tension in the knees. And here you are a conduit for energy, feeling it. The universal energy come in through the crown of the head and release out through the feet, in through the crown and out through the feet. Use your bum and your sits bones to walk your heels to the front of your mat. This will give your lower body 
Nice massage. You'll feel better for your time of rest. Sitting up straight once you reach that point, bringing the arms forward. Roll the shoulders back and slowly lower down to the earth. Reaching the arms up overhead. Bend the elbows and let them rest above your head. Walking the feet back toward the hips. Bend your right knee and bring your right heel to the center of your left thigh, taking a figure four. Flexing the foot. Option here to come up onto the left toes or draw the left knee in toward the chest. So the other option there as well would be to stand your left foot on a block or something that gives it height if you want to reduce the effort. This practice can be as active or as passive as you want it to be. And you can hold your hands behind the thigh or on top of the thigh. So feeling the difference in each option, finding what's right for you. Relaxing the upper body, relax the jaw. Begin to release the left leg, keeping the right leg as it is. Send the right foot over to the left side, coming into a twist, standing that foot on the earth. And then you can use your hands to draw the right knee away from you. And feel that opening. So you can rest the hand on the thigh, if that's comfortable. And it will continue to open the front of the body into that hip. Relax as best you can. The left leg, the right knee. Two more rounds of breath. And you'll begin to bring it back to center. Cross the right leg over the left, stacking one knee over the other, draw the knees into the chest, reaching underneath the feet or for the knees. So if you reach underneath the feet, drawing the feet apart as if you were tying yourself in a knot allowing the palms to rest at the arches of the feet, feeling that energetic connection. Letting the elbows become heavy, the shoulders heavy. Maybe moving the jaw from side to side to release that tension. Two more rounds of breath. Breathe deep into that hip. And release. Maybe standing both feet on the earth for a moment, knees touching. Grounding the fingertips, grounding the soles of the feet, connecting with everything that is currently grounded on the earth, the back of the head, the base of the skull. And when you're ready, begin to move through that sequence on the other side. So bending the left knee, bringing the left heel to the center of the right thigh, coming up onto the right toes. We're drawing the right knee in. And 
What does it give you to open your body like this? What is freed when a posture is released? Taking a nice deep breath here. Begin to send the left foot, as you release your hands, send the left foot over toward the right side, standing your foot on the earth and drawing the knee away from you. Maybe using your hands to do this will intensify the opening. Still relaxing as best we can. Releasing the striving and the trying and the forcing and the pushing. Letting ourselves be and release into the space. Begin to bring yourself back to center, crossing the left knee over the right, stacking one over the other, as if you were sitting cross-legged in a chair. Option to rest your hands on the shin or the knee, or reach underneath the feet for the outside edges of the feet, drawing the feet apart. And even here, if you've become comfortable in this posture, moving the knees, closer to you or farther away and noticing the difference in the stretch for your hip. Most importantly, weighing down the elbows and the shoulder, settling in the face, a wave of relaxation washes over your hair, your ears, and down the back of your neck as you become more and more grounded in the upper body. Begin to release when you're ready, standing both feet on the earth, fingertips down. Tuck the chin in toward the chest, finding length in the back of the neck. Begin to rock the head, the chin from side to side, massaging just that base of the skull. And depending on what happens in your day-to-day -day life. This could be very intense or it could feel like nothing at all. So just embracing wherever you're at in this moment, finding some rest. Begin to bring your legs out long. Turn your palms up toward the sky, settle in. Maybe you place a rolled up blanket or a bolster under the thighs. Maybe you place a blanket over the body, staying low to the ground. Settling into a natural breath. We scan the body for areas of tension and let them release. With all of the air that's coming in, we have, in the season of fire, we have the need to ground.
in all things foundation is most important to build from. And so you begin to find the foundation in yourself. First through movement. And then through rest and connection to the support beneath you, a system that is greater than yourself. Feel how substantial the earth is beneath you, how powerful and wise. And allow yourself to surrender into its hold. as the belly naturally rises and falls with the breath. There is no other movement in the limbs as they become heavy. The toes each become heavy. The fingers And all the features on your face are heavy and settled and comfortable. The neck and shoulder, the chest, ribs, belly, heavy into the earth. Comfortable and relaxed with the hips, the pelvis, the tops of the thighs and the backs of the knees and the shins and the ankles. Heavy and relaxed. You are safe and you are held in this space. Folded into a powerful and wise foundational energy. You feel it absorb through your skin. Nourishing and wise. Feel it move up from the back body to the front body. As if your body were being covered in soil. fresh, beautiful soil full of nutrients for your skin to absorb. Allowing room for you to, to breathe, your face remains above the earth. It is through your face you will feel the sunshine and the rain. And buried here in the earth, you begin to absorb these nutrients down through the layer of skin into the muscles. the bone, 
through all of the organs and connective tissue. And you do not have to set an intention or tell the earth what to give you, it knows. All you have to do is lay here, relax and still and let it do its work. And sometimes it will request more sunlight or more water. And you can pull that in through your fingertips, through your toes, through your face. Feeling both warmth and current energy refreshing the body as needed. As you stay here in silence for a few moments longer. And you may stay here as long as you need to complete this work. Be sure to bring yourself back with small movements. And we'll see you on our next journey.